Hello from Czech Republic, my name is Petr Koutny and I am going to speak about French Defense Advanced Variation. Uh, this is video made for Royal Chess YouTube channel, so I hope you are enjoying this channel. And now, just now to speak about the French Defense, I used to believe that the French Defense is a really popular uh, opening for Black and my goal is to say you how to understand this opening. It's not important to know move by move, but it's important to understand and let's start. I'm I'm playing e4, e6, d4, d5 and now e4, e5. And this is now a really important uh, position because from now every move uh, is a really good if you understand position. So the first uh, signal of this position that you have pawns on black squares. For example, um, main moves are coming uh, c5 and uh, c3 and uh, you can see this pawn structure. This is very very important to understand and to play this opening really well. So black has the pawn structure on the white squares and that's why he will have problem with the white bishop. This bishop uh, will be blocked by black pawn structure and uh, really often this bishop is the worst piece from the black pieces. So uh, really often it's good for black to exchange this piece. Uh, this, the same story is in the white, white um, pieces and this is the this is this bishop. This bishop has a problem because uh, the pawn structure which is on the white side is on the black squares. That means uh, if you manage exchange this bishop for this bishop, you will play really often very perfectly usable move. So think about exchange these bishops and you will think about good moves. Another story about this position. You can see this pawn structure, which is going to see in this direction. So this is the this is the really big big help or big advice for you. You have to play where this pawn structure has direction, where you are stronger, where you have more space, and that's exactly that White would like to play in this space. White will try to move it and try to uh, outplay it, uh, black in this space. And this is the same story for the black. If black has this pawn structure, uh, which is looking in this direction, black will try to outplay it, white somewhere here. So mainly all moves which is done by black in this space or territory are mostly good for black and really uh, uh, lots of moves which are done in this territory are good for white. I'm not telling every time, of course, um, sometimes it's not so simple, but for basic basic rules that's okay. Another, another position factor of this opening is the space. Space is very important. You can see that uh, from now white has three hands to play on the fifth, fifth ranks, fifth uh, ranks, so you have uh, more space. Uh, black has less space and has a problem with space, so he has to be very careful with his pieces and he needs to be very careful to move it pieces into the right space. Places. So for black is really good to exchange pieces, for white it's not so great, so every exchanging is very important to understand for white if it's good or not good. For white mostly good is to exchange these bishops, because as I told you this pawn structure is saying that this bishop is a bad bishop or bishop with not a good um, future. This bishop on f1 is for white really important and he can be very aggressive in this direction, in direction where white would like to play. So 
we understand the basic factors of these positions and uh, we can move it to the theory. Uh, this move is of course standard and uh, black is trying to push a big pressure to the d4. Uh, the center now in, is in white hands and um, for black is really important to crash this center. So he will do what's, what is possible to crash to destroy this center. So if uh, black is going to attack the center, white is going to defend the center. So this move is simple. And again, black is playing uh, this move. Again, is a big pressure to d4. And I going to I going to tell you that the maybe the main move is a3, but uh, for me interesting move is this one. This move is really interesting, and now we can enjoy if we will understand this position how black has a really hard job to play this position. Uh, now it's very important to see and to watch this knight. This knight has to go to the game, so he has to go in the position in, with this maneuver or, or this maneuver. From this position, from this square, the knight will be perfectly placed and he will make pressure, pressure to the um, square d4 and this is important for black to play with pressure to d4. So this is very important to see where the knight will go. So if the knight is going into h6, just now is very strong to take on h6. And this is a variation from the game set game of Sessian. This is the player at 2700. So he took and now is playing queen to d2. Uh, of course, uh, you can ask why black uh, should not take on b2. And I will tell you that this move is mistake because even it look like uh, black will take the rook. I believe that white is right when white believe that he will uh, take the queen. So black is going to take on a1. And the main move is uh, queen to c2. And we will see in next variation how this queen will be trapped. So uh, the best move is to take on g6. And uh, this, this is the story about this opening. White is okay to lose a bishop, but this is the bad bishop. So white managed to to exchange his bishop and it's broken black pawn structure. So that's the advantage. Uh, small disadvantage is that from now black has two bishops. Two bishops are in good hands, a very strong, strong, um, strong active pieces. So very important now is to play very, very well. Um, because the black is uh, has a threat to take on b2, one move is simple. Uh, this, this queen is going to take care about the b2 pawn and is going to watch what black will do. Black, of course, will play bishop to g7 and small castle. And uh, okay, it's simple, so the simple moves. And now white has to manage to play with this knight. Uh, this knight is playing in this maneuver and this is very often a good maneuver and this is important maneuver in this variation in many many French defense advanced variation. So okay simple move and in this position black took and played f6. This move f6 is uh, I believe the, the most often move and since now White is going to take. Of course, it's very bad to take by bishop because you can take on h6 one day. So black is going to take by, by rook. And you can see that this square is very important. This knight should go there. And if you manage to 
sit your knight on e5, you will be a very strong player. But here is the knight which is going to guard e5 square and now it's very nice and interesting um, how white is playing. So very important goal is to to play and to to show that this knight will lose the square e5. So uh, a4 and you can exchange this knight. If the black is knowing is not going to play e5, uh, for example, is playing simple moves. White is playing b4, e4, and b5. And after something like that, you can see that this knight has going to move somewhere, uh, doesn't matter where. And now you you are the man who own very important square on e5 and you played very well this opening you have advantage and i believe uh, this game is interesting for white so um, that's why it, uh, this variation should go like that and we can see that uh, the white player 2700 player is playing in the same direction and very soon the white one. Okay, we can move it to the next game and still will be interesting. This is the same player, 2700, side game of Sessian, playing the same variation, which I like and I'm telling you that it's interesting uh, move. Okay, we, we are going to take on h6 and uh, of course the same moves and we will see how White will try to fight to win uh, the square e5. Okay, the same moves. And everything what I spoke, this is the position when white is simple better, has very strong knight. And now is of course not good to, to exchange this knight, so nice move and you are absolutely fine. So, okay. Let's move to the, another variation and there's again player to uh, 2400 and we can see the now well known moves. And we are going to take on h6 and uh, black is going to take on b2 and I told you that this variation is probably bad for black so you're going to wrap black queen. You can play like that. and black won. Oh, maybe it was uh, too fast, so so let's start once again and not to be so fast. So now uh, this is the move which we know and uh, now it's very important to go back with this bishop and now it's important to go to c2. Uh, here you can see that uh, this queen has no space, has no room and probably will be lost. So maybe the best move from the black is to take on d4 and very important move is to play on b5. Uh, I believe that uh, to, to go to b5 is much more better and for example if you're going to take here you can play here, you can take and you can go here and you can see that black queen is wrapped and it's game over for the black. Okay, so we saw that uh, it's the simple rules and a simple game. So advanced variation, another variation. So bishop to e2 and now it's very important to understand that if black decides to exchange the pawns or d4, what I believe is the best move for the black in this position because now black should play to h6 now please be very careful now it's really really bad to take on h6 because black should take on b2 and that variation which i show you it's not working very well maybe best move is this move 
but I believe here black is fine and black is maybe has advantage uh, because if after black will take on b2 you're going back um, but black is winning because has a uh, one move more you can see that uh, when we have pawn here and here that's not possible to take on d4 now it's possible and black is winning so it's very important to be very careful now and if you will see that black is going to exchange on d4 it's not good idea to take on h6 uh, one variation is speaking about uh, this move and I will show in next variation maybe a more interesting move so as I told you the black is going into this direction and black is hoping that his big pressure to d4 will make a um, headache uh, for the white so a very important move which you know which you have to know is this one and this variation should be fine for black or is fine for white I don't believe that white has big advantage here that's a still interesting game but I believe that in this variation uh, white has lots of game um, play and uh, maybe it's uh, so simple for black to play that's why I'm going to show you something more interesting and what's interesting about this variation is that not so many players know it so you can surprise your opponent if they are playing this variation uh, if you know that black is is going to f5 you have time to move it one more time with bishop and you are waiting for this move because if black is going to take on d4 black is lost you will take of course you will take you will take and you will you will check and black is going to lose queen so not good to take it and uh, black is going to play of course to f5 if it's not if now is black not going to play on e5 white has time to to to, to exchange this bishop for the knight and everything is fine so main move is going to f5 and you're going to take this knight and it's good to know some interesting games so you can uh, you can enjoy watching this game is set game of session playing in Warsaw in Poland and uh, that's very interesting move this knight is going here and this knight will be very strong knight then it will be very important for white to exchange these black bishops and how to manage we can see this game and black is going to exchange this bishop that that's what i told you very important a very important move because after this exchanging just now you can see that black has the wrong bishop this bishop is not nice not happy and this bishop is not enjoying this game white at the other side has not the same problems because white has no has not a black bishop so that's very interesting and i believe when you manage to exchange blacks blacks bishops white should have an advantage and nice advantage of course for example here is open c file it's good to play on this file and maybe this knight will be very happy to sit here so maybe we can see how good players playing this position and you can see that every exchange is good but you would like to leave this bishop on the game as long as possible so a really interesting game when where black has big problems and white has advantage we can move it to the, another game 
And of course, uh, once again, Sergei Movsesian, which is a really world expert on this opening, and uh, we can watch his variation. Uh, yes, as I told you, now is it's time to take it, but you can play bishop d3 and you can play the same variation as you saw in the last two minutes. So you will take it and you will try to exchange the black square bishops. Now black is playing good move. This is perfectly good move and because you don't want to, if you are a black, to exchange this bishop. So a6 is a good move but has big disadvantage. Uh, this is losing time and sometimes you should be under black, of course, should be under big pressure if you are going to to hide your monarchy there. Okay, that's standard. And you can see that uh, that's not a healthy position for black and um, black will lose very soon. So, yes, sometimes it should be interesting, but uh, I believe here has the has white a really nice advantage and this variation is what to play and it's okay. Okay, another Sergei Movsesian and we can enjoy how he is playing the French defense. I believe that the best way how to learn how to learn opening is to to see player which are very very strong in this opening and here we can see that this is the another way where black is going to move it his knight to f5 in 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 the last games we saw that black was uh, trying to move it via h6 now black is trying to move it to f5 and that's nearly everything what you need to know about this opening if black is going to f5 across e7 you're going to c2 e cross uh, a3 it's very important because it's this bishop is blocked and I will tell you for example if it's going in this direction for example black will take on d4 and now is playing for example bishop d7 you can see that this bishop is open and if you will try to go in this direction the same move black will be very happy to take on a3 because the pawn structure will be very weak for the white so that's the reason that uh, this variation has a good idea when black has no chance to take your knight on a3 is good to play on a3 and then to c2 because you can see that white is going to push a big pressure to d4 and you are just on time to be on the right place so you can see that black has three pieces which are going to attack d4 and white has three pieces which are standing really well and which are which are going to help and support d4 pawn so everything is okay and still we can enjoy main problem for the black is how to save this bishop and not to exchange really often really often is a mistake the check on b4 and i will show you why uh, maybe you can think that this check is um, is uh, good for the black because white is going to move it his uh, his piece to f1 and it looks very weak for the white but don't worry white is playing the same position setup he is playing g3 and he's moving to g2 and he will play every time and doesn't matter if black will check it or no so I will tell you that this is a really, really big move to check before. 
we can we can see that um, maybe better is to e7 and the setup which is going to play white is every time same he's playing a4 a4 for example if the black is going to castle you are going to play g4 and only one move where the black knight should go is to h6 and of course you will take it and this knight this uh, black piece will be really under big pressure probably will be lost so uh, for this reason after h4 black is going to stop this move this pawn and is playing h5 that's a really move which white like it because these bishops will be exchanged on g5 and that's i believe everything what you need to understand about this opening when you manage to exchange these bishops you're playing a really perfect move and you are playing like a strong player so g3 i told you that this is the pawn structure and this is the plan which is going to play white and it's really not important what is going to play black so okay g6 g6 is move which is nearly forced because you can see that this battery is is going to watch on a5 and one day still black will need to play g6 to support h5 pawn so g6 and now look these black squares are really weakened and just one plan is to exchange these bishops and if you will exchange these bishops black will lose all the black squares and will be standing really badly so move which i told you and it's something like why is waiting for the black moves okay if black is waiting we are waiting this move is good move because if we are going to move it our bishop to g5 is healthy to not lose on b2 and uh, move rook to b1 is good move still we are waiting okay black is waiting and we are going to exchange the best piece what is on black uh, black army okay if we have no chance we have to exchange it and now it's very important and this is the best move of position you manage to exchange these bishops and then you will have a really nice advantage of these black squares and that's why i really enjoy to play this advanced variation because it's flexible and it's interesting has good plans and it's not important to know move by move it's important to know some few good games and play like strong players you can see here is your square here is your square and one day you will play g4 black has a problem on e8 and uh, that's fantastic position and black is doing very bad because this rook on h8 is not playing and everything belongs to the white hand so white has advantage and after g4 everything will be opened and very soon black will be under big big pressure okay if it's not not that pressure is very bad position in rook ending so i believe this is a really important game which are going to prove that this variation is very healthy okay one more game of sergey mofsesian and we can see what he's playing in this variation i hope you are enjoying this move um, i believe we saw this variation and it looked like we are in the first game of this video so uh, this is nearly everything what you need to know about this variation and i believe that this variation is what to know and is really enjoying to play this variation uh, it's not hard to understand this variation it's not important to 
learn move by move very important is to understand this position and know the basic plans here the basic plans is to fight for the e5 square and you playing b4 and b5 and you are going to win this e5 square and then you're playing for a big advantage so that's the knowledge which you need to know and if you have it you're playing ideally a strong opening okay uh, in this variation it's very bad to take on b2 and we know why it's up to you how you will uh, how you will uh, take black piece on h1 okay we can go fast to the next game i like to show you at the end of this video uh, how how to how to remember this variation now it's very bad be careful to take on h6 and you can play move it like uh, knight to c3 and knight to e4 but i don't like this variation i believe here has black a really good game that's why i am going to speak about this variation which is a really interesting uh, now of course you are going to watch in which dimension or which direction is going this knight if this knight is going to e7 and to f5 you're going this knight to a3 and c2 you can see that knight to e7 is going to block this piece on f8 so that's the time to play in this direction if it's going to black playing to h6 i like it move bishop to d3 and you are waiting for move a knight to f5 and you are going to take it and of course you have the same plan you would like to exchange these bishops and if you manage you will stay with big advantage that's nearly everything what you know what you need to know about this variation okay we can move it and we can check very fast because we are nearly at the end of this video this variation and if black is playing h6 uh, okay he will manage to not exchange black's bishops but he will lose time and maybe his um, right square or right side of the board will be weakened and you can play there okay so uh, another variation i believe this is the main variation of this french defense where the knight is going to e7 and you can know that you're going this direction you're playing g3 you are going to move this piece to g2 you're playing h4 and at the end you're going to exchange these bishops when you will exchange these bishops you will be a uh, man who own black squares and i believe you will have a big advantage this is nice theory because it's not like main theory in the white or on french defense so it's it's really interesting to play because you should have a knowledge which is very difficult to find for the bag and i believe that's everything what you need to know about this french defense advanced variation i hope you enjoyed this video and i like to thank you for every like for every follow because we are a brand new youtube chess channel and every follow which you will give us you will tell us yes you're doing good videos you're making good videos and we are enjoying i believe that we will be one day big chess family and i thank you for every follow i thank you for watching this video and i hope it was interesting video for you and you will play with fun and you will enjoy this french defense advanced variation so that's everything for now i wish you good day and good games with french defense advanced variation have a nice day and see you soon bye bye